Alright guys, this the next morning we're finna try this blueberry jam. Now this was the piece of jar that I'd done and I didn't water bath, I just stuck it in the ice box. And you can see that gelled just right guys. Matter of fact, couldn't ask that to jail no better. Rubbing it right there on that piece of toast. Pretty good blueberry jam there now. Like I said, that turned out just right. Can't believe I had that much luck on the first try. Wish I could share a bite with y'all guys. That right there ain't gonna last long, I'll tell you that. Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Poor Boy's Little Homestead. As always, if this is your first time here, thanks for dropping in. Feel free to drop in anytime you feel, my friend. <music> Guys, today, I was in top of my freezer getting something out, and I seen my blueberries. I done forgot all about my blueberries. Now, you who follow me along, y'all know I only got two blueberry plants, and this was their first year, so I didn't get that many blueberries. So I just, as I picked them, I put them in the top of the freezer in a Ziploc bag and had them froze. Well, today, I got them out, and we're going to make some blueberry jam. Or at least that's what I'm thinking of at the moment. And the reason I'm saying that, I'm, I'm going to blend these berries up I'm gonna use just a little ninja and then when I measure them out then I decide if I got enough I know some people say it's not good to change a recipe up but we might do a little experimenting here we may not we may have to uh split up this jam recipe or I also have some muscadine froze in there I've been kind of thinking about making some blueberry muscadine jam. I like blueberry jam, I like muscadine jam, so why not just have a muscadine blueberry? But we'll see after we blend these blueberries up, how many we have. The little recipes here I got in this ball preserving book. And guys, I'm gonna go on and tell you, this video here ain't telling you how to make blueberry jam. I suggest any kind of canning preserving you do, you get you a preserving book. Don't never go buy anybody's videos. Not even mine. Because I'm telling you up front that I'm probably going to be tweaking this and we're going to see if it works. Some people say you do not tweak jams and jelly recipes. Well, we're going to tweak it if I ain't got enough to get to this exact recipe. I'm all about experimenting in my garden, experimenting in life, tell you the truth. Some people use their potato smasher to mash up their blueberries, but I'm gonna put mine right here in this little ninja. And I'm using my handy dandy coffee cup here that I use for Anything from drinking coffee to shoveling dirt in the garden. Now, I don't think I've ever used it in the garden to shovel dirt. But I use it for all kind of canning and use it for my dipper cook because it's always handy. never use one of these little small ninjas oh that looks good enough to drink right there look at that but yeah I, I ain't gonna have near about no 
I think the recipe here says four and a half cups. I ain't gonna have four and a half cups. I ain't figured out why anybody wants to use a potato smasher when it's so quick to put it in a little ninja like this. Blueberry's pretty tasty. I'd have more of these blueberries if I wouldn't have been eating them out in the garden so much. And also, guys, this book right here, which I ain't looked in no other book, but it don't have just blueberry jam. It has, it has just blueberry jam for uh, the frozen, but I don't want to do the frozen, but it has blueberry dash lemon jam, blueberry dash lime jam, which ain't nothing but adding lemon zest and lemon, what does that say? Grated lemon peel. Well, I'm gonna be using a little lemon juice in my in my jelly jam here anyway. So I don't see why that same recipe won't work just cause I ain't got no lemon zest in it. I might have more here than I thought. four and a half cups but I'm gonna be closer than I thought I would a lot closer than I thought I was looks like I got four cups right there guys And I bet if I use just a little bit of water, I'm going to be so close to four and a half. Well, I'm going to rinse this out right here, and I'll be right back. Y'all can see, I just put enough water in here to slosh it around just to get out the extra. And guys, that right there is so close to four and a half cups. We're going to go with it. Alright guys, so we got our juice juiced up, and I'm going to put a towel over it right here, and I'm going to get set up, and then we'll continue on. Alright guys, I got my little electric hot plate here, but during getting my stuff set up here, we had a little plan change. I ain't going to use the ball blue book preserving recipe. I have sure gel. What is that called? Sure Gel Premium Fruit Pectin. And inside their box, they have a little recipe for jellies and jams. Well, on their blueberry, it says four cups of chopped or mashed up blueberries, and that's what we got. Four cups. So I'm going to get that right there coming up to a bowl, and it calls for four cups of sugar. Now, I already got me four cups of sugar pre-measured out over here to one box of this sure gel pectin. Now once this starts bubbling a little bit, we're going to add us about one teaspoon of butter in there, and that just helps keep you foaming down. And it says to go on and add your pectin in there. And you bring it up to a rolling bowl that you can't stir down. Then after that, you add your sugar in there and stir it while it's melting. And when it starts coming to a bowl, you wait till it gets to a bowl. 
that you can't stare down and then you do that for one minute. So right now we're going to wait for this to come up to heat and we're going to add our pectin and we're going to continue on. The spoon don't want to sit there does it? But like I said we're going with the directions that comes in the sure gel box here. It's got cooked jam recipes, cooked jelly recipes. On the back it's got quick for freezer jam recipes and quick and easy freezer jam jelly recipes. Right straight in the box. So we are gonna go with their little recipe since it fits my four cups of uh, blended up blueberries here. So it'll be a little bit, it takes my little Hot plate here in a minute to get warming up and going, and then we're gonna get right back into this. All right, guys, it's starting to make just a little bit of bubbles here. We finna go on and put our, if I can get it out of here, butter in there, and this is optional. It just helps with the foaming up. What it says right here on this paper. And we've been going and add our box of pectin in there. Now if you go back and look at some of my jell jellies on my musky dime that I done last year. That's been a year ago. I don't know what recipe I use. I always have to refresh my memory when I'm doing this stuff. So that's why I'm going by this sure gel. And it says get this to a rolling bowl that you can't stir down. And then you add your sugar and you get it to a rolling bowl you can't stir down. But at that point you let it go for one full minute after you put the sugar in there. Now at this time, I got my jars over there. I done washed them and they in the water canner in some about 180 degree water so they'd be sanitized. My lids is in some hot water, which I'll put some more hot water on them before we get ready to jar this up. It's gonna be some good looking jam. And it says do this over high heat and steady stir it. That way it won't stick. Now y'all can see I'm using this coffee cup for coffee again. Yes, it got washed. <laughs> Some people like doing this in their house, in the kitchen. And I know a lot of these people making these YouTube videos, they try to have y'all pretty background and all that, but that ain't what I'm about. I'm just a poor old country boy and most of my stuff I do right outside here. I don't care nothing about being up in the house, tell you the truth. Some of the most miserable days of my life is when it's raining all day. I do know one of the hardest parts about making this jelly and jam is getting it to that rolling bowl. You want to go on and add that sugar early. But I learned that ain't a good thing to do because then you, your jelly don't gel good. Matter of fact, first first time I was getting back into doing this, I actually had some that I just called pancake syrup. And it's pretty good when it's kind of thin. Pouring it over your biscuit. But then after I figured out you gotta let it get to that rolling bowl, like it says, 
Then you can get your jail going on. I like making jams better than I do jellies because you ain't got to strain your juice through no cheesecloth or nothing. But I still got plenty of jelly from last year, so I'm just making jam out of this blueberry. And guys, this is the first time I've ever made blueberry. That's because I planted them two blueberry bushes last fall. And that's what I got off of them. This is the first year, and you, I got enough here to make. It says this is going to come out about six cups. Which, if I remember right, that's going to be about three pints, which I'm putting them in half pints and them little quarter pint jars. Now, guys, this electric cooktop I got here, I'll try to remember to put it in the description below this video. This here is, I think, a 1500 watt or a 1700 watt. I can't remember right off my head right now. But it ain't no cheap heat plate, but I tried them cheap ones and they just didn't get hot enough. This one here, it'll, it'll get hot enough. I can actually uh, pressure can on it, and that's why I purchased it. And it's in some of my pressure canning videos. Alright, now we got to a bowl where I can't stir it down. We're going to add our sugar in here. And I need to get my phone over here so I can time this. And we're going to pour in our four cups of sugar. I know some of you already done seen this, some of you professionals out there, and you saying he's got a liquid measuring cup measuring his sugar. Well, you're right, but you're wrong at the same time. My sugar is in this liquid measuring cup, but I measured it with a dry measuring cup when I dumped my sugar in there. This is just what I grabbed to put it in. Alright, now it says stir until it comes back to that rolling bowl that you can't stir down. And once it gets to that rolling bowl you can't stir down, that's when you time it for one full minute of good hard bowling while you stir. And that's where a lot of people mess up when they're trying it, just like I was saying about myself. A lot of people mess up on that part, and that's why their jelly and jam don't gel. You got to get that roll hard rolling bowl, and you got to do it a good minute. Once you get that good minute, then you remove it from the heat. You don't just turn your heat off because it's still sitting on that hot plate or on your burner. You want to remove it from the heat. And then I'll go bring my jars over here and we're going to jar her up. And then we're going to put her in the water bath canner for 10 minutes. You see that sugar there cooled it down quite a bit. It's going to take a little while to get back to that bowl. Four cups of sugar is a lot of sugar. That's what makes that jelly and jam so good. Makes them bellies pooch out too, don't they? <laughs> All that sugar on them homemade cat head biscuits. Mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. Don't let them pick guitars and drive them old trucks. Make them be doctors and lawyers and such. Mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. They'll never stay home, they're always alone, even with someone they love. 
Them that don't like him won't know him, and them do sometimes won't know how to take him. He's not different, his pride you won't let him do things to make you think he's right. Guys, all my life, that verse right there, that song, what I've always described myself by. If you don't know me, you won't like me, and even if you do, sometimes you won't know how to take me. That pretty much sums me up. Alright guys, now we've been a timer for one minute. She's at a hard rolling bowl, and when I'm staring, the bubbles is still a coming. If you start staring and you bubbles ain't steady coming up while you staring, then you ain't to that hard bowl yet. Alright. We're turning our heat off. Removing it from the heat. Slide that over out of the way. Go grab our jars. All right, guys, we got our jars. We finna start to lay a little, 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 little room right here in this jar. I'll just lay that there since I'm done with it. These other jars, I'm gonna leave them sitting in this pan. I carried them over here in. You wanna come up to about a quarter inch head space. Set that jar over here. I don't like doing that in that pan. I can't see what I'm doing. Guys, y'all can see, I should have set my table up like I normally do when I'm canning, but I didn't want to get everything out and get all set up, so I'm just kind of doing this off the fly here. But it don't matter, it all comes out the same. Top them all off to where I think that's a good quarter inch head space. Alright guys, that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to get me a paper towel. And I like putting a little white vinegar on my paper towel. And we're going to clean the tops of these jars. You don't want to go through all this and then your jars don't seal because you didn't clean the tops good. That's why I like using vinegar. If you do have one that don't seal, just put it in the refrigerator and go on and make you some pancakes or biscuits. and use that jar first. I got a little messy feeling these jars. I'd really like to see be a fly on the wall. Some of them people on YouTube doing their jelly and their little shows and they all so neat and everything I'd really like to be a fly on the wall when that camera's off and watch them instead of being their real selves 
They're trying to put on a show like they're doing a TV show. Well, that ain't what you get when you watch me, is it? <laughs> you get to see the real deal how it's done in real life. Whether it's in your kitchen or whatever, you start doing a lot of canning and preserving, you're going to make messes. You ain't going to be worried about this pearl white countertop with that pretty decor decoration in the background so it looks good on camera. And when you put your tops on, guys, you don't tighten the crap out of them. But like I said, this ain't no canning video, so I ain't, I ain't uh, trying to tell you how to can right here. I'm just making some blueberry jam. We're going to get this put over in the water bath canner. And once it comes up to a bowl, we're going to time it for 10 minutes. And then we'll remove them. Yeah, who knows, might cook a biscuit tonight in the morning. All right, guys, that's it. I'm going to put it over in the canner. The canner, I mean, the water bath canner is set up. You ain't going to see that part, but I'm going to water bath can them, and I'll be right back with y'all. All right, guys, I got it over in the water bath canner, waiting on it to come up the bowl. I'm going to take what's left in here, which ain't much. I set it back on the stove here and warmed it up just a little bit. It ain't even gonna be enough to keep really, but you see this by the time I got everything in the water bath canner and coming back, it's gelling up. So that right there, guys, you're going to put straight in the ice box. I wish I'd have had another one of them little bitty jars. We're going to put that in the ice box and let it gel. And then we'll get it back out and sample. Now I got a mess to clean up, guys. I put my pot over in the sink and got some water and soap, your hot water on it. Keep that from getting so sticky. But we finna water bath can that for 10 minutes. And then we'll get them out and look at them, see what they look like. I'm gonna be cleaning up my mess and washing my dishes while we wait. Alright guys, we got her. Dishes washed up, cleaned up. Done our water bath canning for 10 minutes and got it set out here. And you can see we got, that's two half pints. And what is that, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm assuming them's like a quarter pint. That's what them are. And that's pretty much what the sure gel said I ought to come up with. Well, I think I may have come up with a quarter pint more than the sure gel says. It says four cups of chopped blueberries, four cups of sugars. Makes, well, it says about six cups. So since it says about, that's pretty dang close. So time's going to tell me if it gels. I may have to open my jaw up and show y'all within this video, but I'm going to go on and end the video and say I hope you enjoyed making blueberry jam with me today. And guys, like I said, if you've never canned before and going to start, make sure to get you a preserving canning book. There's all balls got different ones. There's different ones out there, but make sure you get you a book. Like I said, the Sure Gel, it comes with recipes in it. I'm, that's all that's been around for 
no telling how many years sure gel's been around so all their stuff's been tested and proven you don't want to just watch youtube videos and go buy somebody's videos because like i said can into something that could uh come back and haunt you in the end you could make yourself sick even kill someone you can you can can and preserve more stuff that's in these books and it don't mean that it can't be done it just means that it ain't been tested or it just ain't been maybe usda or whatever the food deal out there testing that don't mean it can't be done but you need to stick with this right here, these books. But guys, appreciate you watching. I got some other things I got to get going. And like I said, I'll try to remember to when I open one of these jars in here to insert a little clip maybe right here at the end of this video showing y'all if it gelled or it didn't gel. Sometimes I have it to gel perfect. Sometimes mine don't gel quite as much, but I still eat it. Like I said, you... A good uh, musky dime, really what I really like is when I can fig preserves. Even the, the even the juice that's left over, I just jar it just as syrup because I pour it over them biscuits. I love it just as good, but sometimes mine don't gel. Sometimes it does. We'll see. But thanks for watching. Hope y'all have a blessed day. See y'all next time. Alright guys, it's the next morning. We're finna try this blueberry jam. Now this was the piece of jar that I'd done and I didn't water bath. I just stuck it in the ice box. And you can see that gel just right, guys. Matter of fact, couldn't ask that to jail no better. Rubbing it right there on that piece of toast. Pretty good blueberry jelly.